Hey guys, I wanted to share with you guys a tour of our home gym. Quickly, before we start this video, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the giveaway. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing a giveaway. It's in like the last video, so if you guys want to enter, check out the last video. Anyways, I will be choosing the winner this Friday, so you guys do have time to still enter the giveaway if you guys haven't already. So it is in the last video, I'll have it linked in the description if you guys want to check it out. But yes, there's still time to enter and I will be choosing it this Friday, so have your Instagram DMs ready because maybe you guys might win the giveaway. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, let's get into the video. Now a lot of you guys might not be super shocked because you guys have seen a lot of my videos of me working out in here already. However, I wanted to show you guys the equipment that we have, the kind of setup that we have. Also, Dave and I did a huge kind of TLC clean this weekend. We just moved things around to kind of make it a little more spacious and a little more efficient. And this is probably gonna be like, I guess like a part one or just like the basic home gym that we have because there are definitely upgrades that we need to do, especially like things like that. As you guys can see, the previous owners damaged the walls quite a bit, so we need to fix those and that's more time consuming. But I wanted to show you guys kind of like the basic setup that we have right now. And this is me in no way bragging like that I have a home gym or anything like that. This was something that Dave and I really looked for when we were looking for a house. We really wanted a space to be able to have a home gym, whether that was in the garage or a basement. We wanted to have kind of a setup, especially now with the coronavirus happening and a lot of gyms shutting down and it just not being very safe in most places. We wanted to kind of have a space where we could just work out and be safe. And so I wanted to show you guys what we kind of have set up. So yes, we are super grateful to have this gym and we love it so, so much. And I just want to share this with you guys and maybe inspire you guys in some of the equipment that we have and maybe give you guys a little idea for a home setup. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start in this corner of the gym. Unfortunately, the lighting's kind of hard to show this whole end of the gym I guess because of the door here it has a window so it just kind of it's hard to film in front of however we have this pull-up bar behind me the house actually came with this we made it at like a deal in the house that the owners just kind of left this for us and so we had a pull-up bar when we came in which we are grateful for the previous owners were surprisingly crossfitters and so they just left it here I mean it was customized to this space anyway so why not just leave it here? It's pretty good. It's like fits really well into this corner. However, the only like little problem is that like when you want to do like kipping pull-ups or muscle ups, you kind of have to like open the door. Like this door leads to nothing. It's our electrical panel. It's nothing. But we have to like open the door so that if we're gonna kick forward or something like that, we're not gonna kick the door kind of thing. A lot of times you guys will see me doing toaster bar facing out this way. But if I wanna do muscle up or a lot of kipping or something like that, I have to face the other way. But I can do kipping facing this way, but sometimes it's like kinda of awkward. So we just kinda of open the door. We hook it onto this door, as you guys can see, and then we just have like a little more space. Like it just opens up like this. That's the only like minor inconvenient thing. However, it's such a great pull-up bar. We love it. We use it all the time and it's like, just the perfect height for me. Like it's not too high up and it's not too low down. I love it. Okay, so this is like the opposite side of the pull-up bar. We have our handstand push-up wall, which the owners thankfully left. They had this wall here for handstand push-ups for themselves. So we told them, hey, you know what? Just leave it there because we're gonna do handstand push-ups. Just leave it there. No point in moving it. So they left that there. And then we have our bars in the corner here. We need to find like hooks to set them up and everything to make it like a bit better. But right now they're just sitting in the corner. Nice there. And then we have just a couple nails here which hold our skip ropes. We, for some reason, Dave and I have collected like a crap ton of skip ropes, which is just, I don't know why. We just have a bunch. We literally don't even use them, but hey, if you wanna come over and skip, we have a skip rope for you. And then we also have our elastic bands hanging there as well. So we can just use them quickly for stretching or anything like that. That's kind of like, our little setup that we have here. So yeah, we just have our handstand push-up wall here. It is pretty good. However, if you're wearing shorts, you end up getting splinters. Like I had to pull out tiny little pieces of wood out of David's legs because he doesn't wear leggings when working out and he did handstand push-ups and he just got so many slivers in his legs. And so <laughs> I wear leggings, so I didn't really notice. It just kind of went into my leggings. I, I never really had an issue, but for him, it like constantly gives him splinters. So we have to eventually shave this down and varnish it and it will be good after that. But 
you know, right now it's good enough. It does the job, but we eventually have to shave it down a little bit. So we're slowly going into the gym, as you guys can see. And the next part is this rig that we have here. It is actually quite a big rig. I think David said it was like nine feet or something. We have really high ceilings in here, luckily. So we can put quite a big rig. There is, I don't know if you guys can see, there is a bar up there. That is for David because he is a giant and I can't even reach that bar. Like, no matter how high I jump, I literally can't, <laughs> I can't touch that bar. That bar is just way too high for me. I think eventually we might try bringing it down because we did build this. Well, I say we, but David built this. So he might eventually bring the bar down so I can use it if I want, but I do have the pull up bar there. So it's not like a big deal, but it's just like super, it's super high. It's like, not it's like nine feet almost eight feet high like it's really high up there and so we have this rig that we have here we also need to get new j cups eventually just because those ones were just temporary and eventually we want to buy j cups but that is what just what we have right now um and then we also have some rings set up on the side they are just to do like ring rows and then also practicing some holds and some ring dips we are not doing muscle ups it's not high enough and there's also like a bar like across the bottom and so there's not really space to do ring muscle ups which is okay because your girl can't do them anyways david on the other hand well he can practice somewhere else but anyways we just have a couple rings here to just do some ring dips ring holds things like that practice stuff for muscle ups but like not do muscle ups with them if that makes sense so yeah we have our rig here I got some bands on there already because you know your girl's always just working out and it's just easier to leave them there sometimes that's the perks of having a home gym is that you can leave the equipment out and it's you who has to clean it up you know what i mean like at a gym you kind of have to like you know clean up after yourself whereas here you just kind of do with what you want to do like leave your elastic bands out so the plates and the dumbbells are all lined across the wall that we have here it's just more organized that way but eventually we do want to kind of get a plate holder we want to make one or just get one to kind of organize the plates so it's like a little more condensed rather than having them across the wall same with the dumbbell maybe we'll eventually make something to kind of stack them so that they're just not sitting on the floor we do have them sitting on mats, which isn't so bad right now, but eventually we wanna kinda of organize it a little bit better to have the, like the plates sitting better and the dumbbells sitting better. So as you guys saw in my like uh, last video, I believe, we got new plates, which is really, really exciting. This is a new addition to the gym. We got our plates from Tonic Performance. These are the high crumb plates. They definitely jacked up their prices. Here in Quebec, everything has been sold out and it's been really hard to get our hands on a lot of equipment. And finally they did a huge restock and we got them right away and they sold out like within a couple hours. So we are very lucky to get our hands on these. So we have a set of four 10 plates, a set of two 15 pounds, a set of two 25s and a set of two 45s, which works really well. Eventually we do wanna get more plates, obviously, but we also do wanna get change plates because when you're doing overhead squats or snatching, you don't wanna do big jumps, you wanna do smaller jumps. So eventually we will get smaller plates like fives and 2.5s. But yeah, right now we have plates, which we we're really excited about and we've been playing with them like crazy. It is so fun to finally snatch, clean, squat, deadlift, all those things. It feels so good to be doing those again. So we're going into this corner right now. We have our trusty Concept 2 bike that we have here. We absolutely love it, especially because the gyms that we go to just don't have any Concept 2 bikes. And it was a little different and it was just a more fun to have, I guess, than an assault bike, because who loves an assault bike? Definitely not me. Uh, so we did buy this guy in the summer. Great piece of equipment to have, and we just really have loved it so, so much. And then we have kind of, <sighs> this corner is just like a little, a little messy. We do have, um, we do have a hook here for our clips, because we finally got our clips, and uh, we just have them hanging there. However, we do need to return one of our clips because it's already peeling, which is really, really annoying. But so far we have a couple sets of clips, which is nice to have because you don't want the plates falling off the bars. And then we have a whiteboard. Eventually we do want to get a bigger one so that we can write all our workouts and stuff like that and some PRs and stats and things like that, just to have a bigger one set it up on the wall. But right now we just have like a little mini one, which is doing the job. We have our speaker here 
gotta play the tunes when you're working out. I'm pretty sure our neighbors are like kind of annoyed with us because we play like really loud music when we're working out. Well, I definitely do. So <laughs> maybe our neighbors hate us. I don't know, they haven't said anything, but we get our speaker here. And then we have another kind of hook there with some bands on there and then just some like odds and, and things like we have round bands we have some lighter bands we have some lighter weights on top of there and then we also have our balls and our foam rollers down there and our yoga mat and just like it's like a cluster of a corner i also have my weighted vest in there this is just kind of where everything has gone right now <laughs> my knee sleeves are up there i don't know we just have a bunch of stuff eventually i do want to put a little more sports memorabilia in here because it will just fit in here a lot better like this picture up here is a picture of all my cheerleading bows that i've collected over the years of cheerleading and i just kind of want to add some things here and there just kind of you know it's a gym it's a little sports area so why not so this area is definitely going to be upgraded but this is what it is right now we have like 40 dry erase markers for some reason i don't know why we have so many but we do <laughs> so that is kind of what our corner is looking like right now but like i said eventually we'll upgrade it clean it up make it a little more fancy you know all that jazz but that is what it's looking like right now so one of the last pieces of equipment that we have is this wooden box here this is something that actually dave and i made <laughs> it was a lot easier to make it and more affordable to make it than it was for us to buy it especially with things going out of stock all the time. It was just easier to make it. So if you guys are handy, I would recommend trying to make it. We did make a video on it, so I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested. But yeah, Dave and I made this box and it's a great piece of equipment to have, especially in a place where I'm too short for like a lot of things and I have to jump up to get things. Uh, it's always nice to have a box because it's like a step kind of ladder to have. Like I like to have it. So it's always moving around our gym. Like it's always in different spots. But right now we're setting it there just because it's more convenient to do box jumps there. We're not gonna hit our head anything, so it works like that. And then also we have our dog bed in the corner because the dogs like to come lie down when I'm doing kind of like a simple workout. I'm not throwing weights or anything like that. But it's pretty simple if I'm just biking or if I'm just practicing pull-ups or something like that. They like to come lie down in here. So of course, it is a garage and we do have a lot of stuff in our garage. Like here we have our tools and if you guys have seen in my previous videos, the tool bench used to actually be across this wall and we just moved it against that wall so there's more space, there's more space for us to move and now it's opened up this wall here. We have our pearlets sitting there right now and we also did get more mats. So we before we had like four kind of small mats and we were kind of like balancing on those and it was kind of sketchy and especially with weights we want to have mats in our gym so that when we're dropping the weights we're not damaging the concrete too badly so we've kind of set it up so we have some mats now it's not fully all over the floor yet we still have like where i'm standing right now where the bike is in the box we don't have any mats yet but we will eventually fill this up with some mats but right now the more important part is that we have mats right where the rig is and then behind there. So it's like slowly, you know, coming together and we're gonna, you know, kind of fit it all together. And that's what we have so far. We have our ski equipment and most of our household things against the wall here. And then we have most of our gym stuff against the wall here. It's just opened up the space so much more, especially when we moved this bench like this bench here against the wall. It just made it so much more open. And when we go to do handstands, I was kicking the bench quite a bit, like the wooden bench, like the, the wood tool bench. I was kicking it quite a bit when I would go into my handstands. So now that it's moved, I feel much better. I'm not worried about kicking it while going up into the handstands. So like I mentioned before, we have these parallettes. We have a set of two of them and Dave and I actually made them. I will have it linked, a video of how we made them. But these are great to have to practice L-sits and also to do parallel handstand holds or push-ups. That's more David's thing. My shoulder is not ready for that yet. But yeah, these are great to have in the gym. Just a small little piece of equipment, but really good to work with your abs, like to work on L-sits. Such a great piece of equipment to have and they're small and pretty convenient. A last piece of equipment that I did want to mention is this ab mat here. This I've raved about before because I really do like it. I think this is such a great affordable option to have in your home gym or just even in your home because it's small and convenient to put anywhere to practice ab mat sit-ups or even if you want to practice handstand push-ups. 
such a great piece of equipment to have and I think it's pretty underrated not many people talk about it so we do like having this and we mostly use it for handstand push-ups because we don't really have a pad or anything like that like we only have like horse saw mats on the bottom here so we want to have something to kind of protect our heads while we're doing handstand push-ups so that is the tour of our home gym I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions about some of the equipment that we have I'll try and have everything linked down below like I said we have our bumper plates from Tonic Performance. We have our bars and our dumbbells from Tidex Fitness. We made our rig, we have mats. These are just plain horse stall mats, but I'll try and have everything linked in the description. If I don't, then you guys can definitely leave a comment and ask me where I got it from and I'll let you guys know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more gym updates, let me know. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to be unstoppable. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Go inside like winter leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting round, baby.